Hello everyone, so in this video, I want to show you guys a problem that I have uh, just encountered with my Premiere Pro 2022. And uh, I never had this problem before, but after a big upgrade, I realized that some of my um, footages from my cell phone, which are uh, .mov QuickTime files, shows up in my editing shows 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 up in my editor like way overexposed and i know the footage itself is fine but however when i import those in my premiere pro everything just appears super overexposed so i went online and i tried to find out the solution and it turns out the version 2022 i think it's version 22 that's what the adobe is calling of the premiere pro actually uh, introduced color management uh, for the video files and before that all my video files actually I think had a default profile attached and it never had that problem of this overexposed coloring however after the update uh, some of my older projects uh, if I import new files into the, those older projects and those pro uh, those files all shows up overexposed when I try to bring them into the editing window and I find out the quick way to fix this and it's actually pretty easy. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how I fixed this problem really quick. Okay, so as you can see right now, all the footage that I imported uh, onto my timeline, way overexposed. The, they are, the footage itself is perfectly fine. As you can see here, you know, it, there's no overexposing. Uh, when you preview, it all looks fine, but it only happens when you try to import it into the editing window. Okay, the first, the fir very first thing you gotta do is you gotta go to files and you gotta go to, actually, I'm sorry, you gotta go to edit, preference, and go to general preference and make sure to check mark display color management. And of course, if you check this, it requires GPU acceleration. So hopefully you have a fairly powerful GPU that most of today's GPU would be able to do this for color managing. And once this is checked, you're gonna hit OK. And to fix this issue, I find out the easiest way for me, at least, is actually go to my projects and actually modify those imported files directly. And that, in turn, actually would fix the, um, the editing window over here and have the editing window actually display the correct color profile or normally exposed profile, whatever it's called, okay? so. Um, so I'm going to select some of the footage that I've already imported. And I'm going to select all those. And those are the footages that I used for the timeline. And I'm going to right click and go to modify, interpret footage. And in over here at this uh, tab, you're going to go down all the way to the color management. And as you can see, sometimes it actually uses a default. By default, it's going to be using this color profile called rec.2100HLG. But in this case, to co correct the overexpose, you don't want to use this. You actually want to convert it into rec.709, which was, I think, the old color profile that they used for the last uh, version. And once you click this for all the files that you selected, as you can see, the overexposed file actually now displays properly and you have successfully fixed this problem actually. Um, so this is how I fixed my problem and I, from, from my reading, there are some other ways to fix this problem. However, it's not going to have this problem if you start with a brand new project. Say if you press Control plus N and you start a brand new project, uh, all the files you import shouldn't have this, you know, overexposing problem. It only happens when you try to open an existing project and you try to import some new .mov QuickTime files into the project, that it creates this overexposed color, you know, washed out color, whatever. So this is a quick fix to the problem. And once you, I guess once I finish with editing this project, I'm actually going to just start a brand new project in uh, version 22 and import files directly to the new project. And that shouldn't create this issue anymore. So if you guys are wondering how to fix this overexposed problem, try my method. I think it's the best and quickest way. Again, there are some other ways 
um, to fix this problem. However, this is that I found the most convenient. I'm going to post a link in the description as well on where I find the solution to this problem so you can follow up and maybe try some other ways if my way doesn't fix your problem. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button um, and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I should have more uh, similar tips coming out for you guys. Okay, thanks again and see you in the next video.